He said, you know, he didn't have any jumper cables, that his were messed up, and asked if I had any. I said, sure, I've got some in the back, and I popped the trunk for him, and he went around and got the cables. And I opened the hood, and he went around and opened the hood on the other car, and he got the cables and went around to, I presumed, to attach them while I waited in the car. I uh, left the door open so I could hear him say, go ahead and crank it up, and just kind of sat there waiting. The next thing I know, he's on top of me with a knife at my throat. I never saw him coming. I don't know where he went. I don't know if he went behind me, and I just was not aware of it. He sounded panicked. He said, you can get the floorboard or I'm going to cut you. I, he said, there are some men after me. I owe them money. They're going to kill me. So I need to borrow your car. And I'm, at this point, still very much in shock, but I'm starting to shake, starting to panic, thinking, just do what he says. And um, I said, you know, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Just don't hurt me. I had the thought crossed my mind to try to get out and run when he jumped out to shut the hood. Did I have time to get out of the space, open the door, fall out if necessary, and run? By the time I thought it through, he was already back in the car. He said, do you have any money? And I said, I have about $12 in my purse. And he said, do you have any credit cards? And I said, no. I'm in college. I don't have any of that stuff. I just have some money in my purse. And he said, if you're lying to me, I'll kill you. 